So listen here how this uh, scalariform conjugation. Hmm? So this is uh, how I am drawing. Uh, you listen here. So uh, first I am drawing the filament of uh, sigma. See how these filaments of sigma. We already studied the cells are broader than, sorry, longer than breadth. So, may uh, due to the uh, drawing in paint, sometimes it may not become very closer. See, this is the one single uh, filament here. So, okay, uh, same way. Uh, sorry, same way. One more uh, single filament you can draw here. Very near to this another single filament ok see how this is just to show you how to uh, how this uh, scalariform conjugation and uh, Later conjugation is going on, otherwise you will be confused with the structures. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, actual cells. You know what is this? Uh, here there is a star-shaped chloroplast. Here there is a another star-shaped chloroplast. In all, uh, this is the same star-shaped here. Uh, another star-shaped here. Hmm? Okay, let us have some color. And uh, this is the um, these are the protoplast everything here inside this protoplast hmm? ok and uh, this is what uh, the uh, check the nucleus ok sorry here I can draw the nucleus that is better ok here also hmm, wait this correction is required I am not doing my right protoplast will be there inside uh, ok so, now see this is the nucleus here, uh, this is also nucleus here, ok. Now, what is that uh, next one is uh, our uh, this uh, chlorop inside this what is present the color is not visible, take another color. See inside this what is present the uh, pyranoids are present here also pyranoids, here also pyranoids. Mm, fire nodes, uh, fire nodes, see fire nodes, ok. So, likewise in all cells, the, this is a typical structure, ok, protoplast. So, so, this is not our uh, subject actually what we are going to discuss is conjugation, see how conjugation to be formed between them, see let us see. Uh, so, two cells, two filaments came closer in scalariform conjugation, but actually what is formed is here a structure like developed like this, uh, from here also a structure developed like this. Uh, in between uh, these uh, gaps everything it will uh, dissolve, ok. Here also it will dissolve, clear, ok. Now what is happening in the next stage is all this content inside this and all this content inside this may function as gamete, ok. So I am going to remove this. Uh, Now, uh, this become one group of gametes and this become another, see, uh, the, this all together modified and this become a large female gamete and this become another large male gamete, ok. So, now these are the, our, uh, this is the female, this is the male, this conjugation to be formed. So, this structure conjugation canal depends and it fused here ok, uh, the, it forms a junction like this, then what happens uh, it is inside this are all now free clear. So, same way another structure also develop here, uh, here also like this develops, here also like this develop ok. So, what happens appear like a ladder that is why scalariform structure ok. 
Now, what is the next step? This content, it will move, or move into this, okay. So, it will move into this and the uh, fusion take place, okay. So, after a particular stage, whatever. So, likewise from here also, um, these structure are there, here also are there. So, here also are there, here also are there. So, uh, what happens? All of them move here and here what is finally formed is the zygote, okay. So, now after a particular stage, this is not there, only you can see this one uh, and that is also uh, very uh, thick and structure, you can call it as very thick and you can call it as what? Psychote, ok. So, now this is our psychote, this is the psychote covered with a thick one, clear. So, now one side full psychote, this side full free, then only can normal. This undergo divisions and form four haploid structures and uh, through this wall, it breaks, this wall breaks and liberate out to develop into new source for plant, clear. This is the condition of uh, scalariform foliage. Now, I hope you understood well, ok. Now, let us move on to the next uh, structure that is how uh, lateral conjugation is going on, ok. So, in natural, uh, uh, what, uh, these are the typical structure, okay. Same way here also structure is there. Uh, so, I will just draw in the structure. This is the uh, star shaped structure and this is the nucleus here, okay. So, what happens here is uh, a conjugation tube is formed between two cells. So, what happens is here actually a way, a way to end up, it become like this, ok. So, this is the conjugation tube. So, in lateral conjugation only one filament take place and between the two cells actually moving take place. So, the, if this is act as the female what happens? From this content, they move on to this. So, now uh, this will act as the gamete. So, gamete is formed in this structure. So, how gametes you see? Gametes are formed here. Gametes formed here. This is the female gamete. So, it will move through, move into this. Clear? So, now what is here? Here it is the function as the female structure. it is function as the female structure. So, uh, content move into this. Now, after some time what happens? Fertilization take place. You can see anything here. So, what you are observing here is the uh, thickest structure here. That is, uh, this is the, this is our uh, zygote, ok. So, likewise, this is what lateral conjugation. So, a single filament between two cells conjugation tube is formed and zygote formed. If it is scalariform in between two cells, zygote formed. After zygote, germination is same in both cases, okay. So, I hope you understood well, ready.